Hi, I'm Matt from Osprey, and I'm here to talk about powering and recharging the Alpride E1 electronic airbag system that comes in the Sold in Sopris Pro. There are two ways to charge the supercapacitors that power the Alpride system. The first is to use the micro USB port and standard micro USB cable provided. The USB port can be connected to a standard charger, not included, or a standard power bank. Depending on the type of charger or power bank, charging takes 20 to 40 minutes. If charging for the first time, you must use the USB charger. The second is to insert two AA batteries, not included. The supercapacitors will automatically recharge once the batteries are in place. Depending on the type of batteries and the temperature, charging takes 40 to 80 minutes. Only use new, high quality alkaline or lithium batteries. If the Alpride system is charging in the off mode, the LEDs will not blink, but charging will continue. The system doesn't require regular charging like your cell phone. Once fully charged, the Alpride E1 system can hold that charge for up to three to five months in the off position. Alpride E1 can be used without additional AA batteries. However, we recommend always using it with batteries to ensure extended power availability. If the system has been charged with AA batteries, install new batteries immediately. To turn the E1 system on, unzip the padded motor compartment to locate the on-off switch. Then pull the switch, turn it clockwise, and hold it there for two seconds. You'll hear the auto test rotate the motor once at low speed. If the system test is successful, you'll hear the motor rotate a second time and a green or orange LED will blink on the unit. Every time you turn on the Alpride system, the auto test will verify that the motor, supercapacitors, and electronics are all working properly. Now the airbag is ready to be inflated by pulling the trigger handle. To turn the system off, pull the switch and turn it clockwise. Same procedure as turning it on. You'll hear the motor rotate once and the red LED will turn on and off again to indicate that the system has shut down. The Alpride compressor unit has three LED indicator lights on the side. These lights are important visual indicators of the power capacity of the motor. On the side of the pack is a mesh panel that allows the motor to draw in air. It also allows you to see the lights on the side of the compressor when the unit is on. The LED lights only work when the unit is turned on. When the green LED blinks once every three seconds, it means the unit is charged and ready to use. If the orange LED blinks two times every second, this means that the current charge in the supercapacitors will support one full inflation within the next six hours. You will also see this LED color and pattern during the charging process, whether you use batteries or USB. A red LED blinking two times every second means the system cannot support a full inflation. If the Alpride unit is plugged in or has two fresh AA batteries, the red LED blinking two times per second indicates the system is charging successfully. If you encounter any other LED patterns during use, charging, or turning the unit on, please reference the full owner's manual available online for more information. Along with your routine beacon checks, make sure you and your partner check the LED status of your pack prior to use in the backcountry. It's also easy to periodically check on the mountain. Just keep an eye on the LED indicator on your pack and your partner's pack. 